Good morning, interwebs. It is 11.21, and I'm up, and I'm all dressed. I woke up to my alarm this morning, and by I woke up to it, I mean I had it go off, and then I snoozed it a number of times, and then I got confused because my alarm clock does not say the proper time, and then I got out of bed. And then I sat there for a while trying to convince myself to get dressed while I spoke in the third person to all members of my family, telling them, Kendra, you can do this. Kendra, get up and put your clothes on. And now, Kendra is dressed. But I need to spend the next bit of time here doing such a fun, fun task. I need to deal with finances and move money around and stuff because I think there's two, it might even be three pay periods I now need to account for because we got paid right after we went to California and I just didn't deal with that. And then I think there's one that came through after that. So I just need to move all the money. Now I think there's money and all the bills are paid and stuff, but I got to put all the money in the right places. So... That's always a, a chore. So, got to figure that out, and then, then we can go and run our errands today. So, okay. Off to make a cup of tea while I do that. It is 2.03 in the morning, and today has turned out to be a very strange day. Oh, yeah. So, a little bit of backstory about the, uh, the sweatshirt I'm wearing with the super cool K on it, because I'm Kendra. Um, you know how I make matching pajama pants for us every year? Well, like what, three years ago? It must be three, because I think all the kids are born. Oh, it was four. Four? Three or four years ago, I made flannel pants with the cars, the cars on them, because our family was obsessed with the Cars movie at that point. And I also got us each a, a black sweatshirt, and I cut out our initial, and I wonder undered it on. And because I don't pick at the edges of mine, my initial still remains. Um, I think I might be the only one. Everyone's also sweatshirts, but the initials have peeled off out of just about everybody else's. I also probably don't wear mine quite as much, because I don't know. I always think it's weird to vlog with my giant K, but whatever. It's what I'm wearing. It was on top today um, when I want to change into my pajamas. So I talked to you this morning. I was going to do finances and stuff. And I did all that. Got everything all set up. Had my check and everything to go take everything to the bank and cash it. But then it took me a little longer than I anticipated because there was more stuff to do. So we were going to be a little late or it was going to be close on acupuncture and I was not excited about that. So I decided I will go get cash tomorrow because I had enough. So we went down. I had acupuncture. It was relatively uneventful. Um, I mean, hopefully it's doing something. Uh, I didn't have any, like, huge... I did not have as huge a sensational reaction as one might assume, given my current physical and emotional state. But um, I have another appointment next week, and then one more time before I go back out to California. So hopefully we'll get everything rebalanced, because I had had things fairly figured out for a little bit there. Um, then we went, and we had lunch at Panda Express, and we went to Menards and got a fancy glittery light fixture to put in my daughter's bedroom as part of her birthday present. Um, I'm going to hang like a reading light over her bed and we got her a poster for her wall and a CD or something. So, but she got a, those things for her birthday. So she went and got to pick out her fancy chandelier thing today. And then, no, oh, then we went and we got uh, concretes at uh, Freddy's. That was good. And we like just bought a couple of them and split them up between all of us and then I got full so I let everybody else finish mine which is both happy and sad simultaneously they were all happy I was kind of sad I couldn't finish it all because it was tasty it was mint and oreo and it was delightful then we went to Joann's because I had a few things to pick up and that involved driving across town just after five and there was so much traffic and I did not like it and I complained about it the whole way I was not enjoying the sitting in traffic or the being surrounded by the traffic and no, it was not good. But we got to Joann's and I got a few things. I bought some, uh, some more elastic so that I can finish those uh, boxers for Steve someday eventually. He found himself some more fabric for more boxers. Look, it's pork. It's an R2-D2. When I asked him what he wanted for his birthday, he said, I would like a pair of boxers with pork as an R2-D2. So, that'll be a thing. Though it won't be done by Friday. But he said it didn't need to be. I got some gray canvas. 
because I had some requests for some plain gray canvas bags. Um, somebody wants to put like their pins and badges and things in them. So got some of that. So those will be custom order coming out of that. And then, um, probably some will go in the shop eventually. And then I got buttons, these buttons right here, right now at Joann's buttons are buy one, get one free. So I got these buttons which will go on the cardigan I showed you yesterday, the gray one with the uh, kind of gray and purple marl. So I think these will be perfect when I held them up. And so this buy one get one free and that was I needed six buttons. I then also got this package of wooden buttons which has um, like flowers and birds and things. And this is going to go on my weather bracken, I think, because I think those will be fun. So. That is everything I bought at Joann's, and then we came home, not in traffic, which was nice, and I crocheted in the car, going there and then coming back, and then I fell asleep in the car, and then we got home and I helped put away groceries, and I was just totally dragging because I'd woken up from my nap too quickly when we got home, and so Steve sent me to bed, so I went to bed at like 7 30 8 o'clock and then I slept and I woke up and I was gonna get up but before I could actually get out of bed I fell back asleep and then it was almost 11 when I came downstairs and the kids were actually just going to bed because Steve let them stay up late because they were all playing a game together so they uh, they went to bed and then Steve and I watched Deadliest Catch for a while and then he went to bed and now I'm finally getting around to talking to you again and I need to edit the vlog. I considered not editing the vlog tonight and just doing it tomorrow. But I think I'm waking up now. Um, again, it's been not a great day again. But um, sleeping, I felt a lot better physically. And, I, and mostly I felt better emotionally sleeping. I don't know. I dream a lot and it's not good. But um, yeah. So, I don't know. It is what it is. But it's not pleasant. And so, yeah. It's been a rough day. But... A productive day despite being rough um yeah so now I'm gonna go and edit the vlog and do all that stuff and maybe I will work on my cardigan some more because you know I'd like to see what these buttons look like on it but to do that I have to finish the cardigan and I can do that sitting and curled up in my little ball which is so cozy and comfy and yeah so edit a vlog work on my cardigan then um, maybe watch some more YouTube while I'm doing that, and then go to bed. It's going to stay on the early side, but I guess if it's already 2, it's not going to be on the early side. It's going to be on the late side, but I don't know. it is what it is. It's what I'm doing. But I'm going to say goodnight to you now so I don't forget. I don't have to come and talk to you again. So, hope you all are having a better day than I am, but hopefully getting an equal amount done. And I will see you all tomorrow. Nighty night.